next, we have Abdullah Al Mula, KHK member, up against Mahmoud Espandiari. Another matchup from Bahrain MMA and KHK fighter Abdullah versus this fighter coming in in the blue corner from Reza Martial Arts Academy, uh, Mahmoud Esfandiari. Well, it's good to know. I mean, he's coming in from the uh, from a jiu-jitsu background gym, so I expect a good ground game from him, uh, and I also expect him to have a, a decent stand-up up against Abdullah Al Mula. Abdullah Al Mula is one of the KHK team members who was specially selected from the Bahrain National Tryouts. And uh, this should be a very exciting matchup. Oh yeah, both gyms, as we've seen tonight, are putting out very well-rounded fighters, um, know what they're doing on the feet and on the ground, so this should be another good fight. I'm very excited to see these two athletes now. Um, he's 5'4", uh, he's 21 years old, uh, coming in from Reza's gym, and he looks pumped up and ready to go. They're putting on this Vaseline on there and about to step into the cage. And do you know uh, much about uh, uh, Esfandiari? Has he been training with Reza for a number of years? or You know, I don't know very much about um, uh, Mahmoud Esfandiari, but I can tell you that uh, uh, all, all the athletes that are coming out of the gym are, 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 are well-rounded, and I don't expect uh, anything less uh, from him. Um, and it's, he's got a tough matchup from a specially selected uh, Abada. And uh, Abad has been training every day, regularly, with the Russian wrestling coaches. So I will expect uh, uh, Abada to take this fight down and, uh, and dominate from the top position. More of a wrestling um, uh, uh, strategy versus a jiu-jitsu uh, player coming from uh, Espandiari. You gotta figure, uh, no matter how long he's been training with Reza, Reza it would not be putting him in this fight if he didn't have confidence in his fighter that's and right. his skills. That's, that's absolutely right. And, and one of the things about Reza, Reza is also a participant or one of the coaches for um, KHK MMA. And uh, so he knows Abada very well, he knows Mahmoud very well. Um, and this, this matchup uh, seems to be uh, who, whoever takes this fight is going to be the better skilled fighter. So hopefully a very technical fight uh, as we can coming in closer to our main events. Yeah, I like this, uh, you know, the MMA scene here in Bahrain reminds me of the early days of UFC where everybody knew each other, everybody fought each other, and oftentimes even trained with each other at some point. So it's a, you know, a smaller community and, you know, um, a lot of respect with these fighters. They all know each other and, um, you know, it's just uh, uh, great to see this uh, competition happen. Well, it's great. It's great to see Abdullah Mullah here competing, representing KHK MMA, and having also Mahmoud here representing his uh, his gym out here in Resume Martial Arts Center. And let's see how they get in here and uh, perform, get the skill set. And here it is. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. About the holding in a uh, nice, nice, uh, nice combination here. Some some nice uh, uh, striking technique. Definitely both fighters looking experience, picking their shots. Good head movement. Yeah, from both head fighters. Movement. Definitely, uh, very not high. not as refined as you're gonna see in the uh, in the pros, but. Very, very uh, good for this level of competition. Yeah, you can tell both of these fighters have been training and, and then take their, their, their training serious. Uh, but one of the things I've noticed is both these fighters are keeping their hands down as uh, as Abada comes in for uh, for a combination. He keeps his, he, he puts his chin up, you know, and he puts his hands down. Uh, definitely needs to work on that. Uh, but in, in the meantime, he's definitely holding kind of the, uh, the center of the of the cage. And here comes a huge takedown uh, from Mahmoud. Let's see if he gets it. Yeah, he's got him in the cage, looking to get that double. He's had enough of uh, the the action on the feet, so see if he's going to uh, work that jujitsu. Good defense from Abada. He's kind of working a, a, an arm lock here. Uh, um. There it is. There's Luke. Like he's trying to use that arm lock to to uh, take him down. Oh, but looks like Mahmoud got it and secured the top position now. 
using that body lock. He's got a hook in, and he's looking to choke. Oh, he's going in for that rear naked choke. Abada seems to be in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, not in a good position. He needs to get his back on the mat, trying to avoid getting mounted. Get that hook out from, from uh, his leg there so that he can get out of this, this uh, dangerous position. Absolutely. And uh, looks like Makuth here, he's kind of uh, holding on here. He's, uh, he's being very patient, uh, showing uh, really good control. Uh, on, uh, on Abada here. Yeah, he just kind of waited that out because really uh, Abada didn't, um, sorry, Mahmoud didn't really have full back mount, so. Oh, Mahmoud now not delivering some heavy leather down there. Oh, now Almost he's got a very good one. Choke. He's got that arm under the chin. Both um, hooks in, but he can't get both arms around there. Yeah, and good for, good for Mahmoud kind of holding on to that back control this entire time. Yeah, and about it defending, he's not letting him get both arms around his neck. And that was the end of the round. Okay, well that's, in, well that's it for round number one. As we move into the, the round number two, I would have to say uh, it's been all Mahmoud in this one. Definitely. You know, it was pretty equal on the feet. They were both... Uh, throwing some punches, but really no one had the advantage until Mahmoud got that takedown in back mode. Oh, definitely. Very good. So if I was in Abdullah's corner, I'd be asking him for more aggressive striking, trying to score some heavy punches, and again, staying on top. But it looks like Mahmoud has the ground advantage here. Yeah, certainly did in the first round. But uh, Abdullah obviously trained on the ground, defended the choke well. Let's see if he can do... Uh, a little better this round and get in a uh, top position. Here we are, round number two. Let's see what Abada does uh, against a very, very well skilled Mahmoud. He's dropping those hands. As he's, uh, dropping the hands and both fighters kind of lifting the chins, raising the chin. That's you know you see that in amateurs. You see that in less uh, um, experienced fighters. Really, what you want to do is tuck the chin to your chest and protect the chin. But people's natural uh, reaction is to kind of uh, shy away from the punches, and that's really where you get into trouble. All right, all right. That was a nice little uh, mutual respect there for the uh, shins. Trying to adjust the, uh, the equipment there. Another takedown attempt by Mahmoud. Uh, Mahmoud might get this. Good defense by Abada. He's really preventing him getting his hands together, and he, he defended that. Excellent control from Mahmoud. Yeah. Really taking our top opponent, really. Uh, uh, Abada's been training with KHK Mixed Martial Arts and uh, seems to be having his hands full tonight. Yeah, Mahmoud's using his physicality. He's looking a little, uh, you know, a little bigger, a little stronger than Abada, so he's he's using that to his advantage and just kind of dominating these uh, tie-ups, getting him in the cage and looking for another takedown. Uh, but it looks like Abada now has got the control now up against the cage. He's holding Mahmoud now, and it looks like he's going for that takedown. Let's see if, if he's able to secure that and score some points in the second round. Yeah, very uh, very evenly matched up here. Um, Abdullah really, uh, oh, sorry, Abada really. Huge takedown oh! there from Abada. It really secures, but it looks like he might be stuck in a triangle position. Yeah, good slam, but it was uh, he reached through that leg. Uh, a little bit of an experienced move there, and he's got himself in a little bit of a situation here. Wow, Mahmoud secures the sweep, delivering some heavy punches. Oh, yeah, this is a very, very high mount uh, position by Mahmoud. And he's still stuck in there with his head with his head and arm stuck in between his legs right there. So, But, but it looks like the experience here from, uh, from Abada. He's really trying to get that sweep, then he gets Look it. Look at that. Wow, really nice. good job. Using his uh, lanky frame to get those legs around, and, and really uh, was able to uh, switch position to top position. Right now, it's still in a scramble. No one really has uh, control. 
There we go. So there now we, go. we have control here from uh, Obaba. Now establishing control here against Mahmoud. Now his turn to deliver some, some punches and going to score some, uh, some points. It looks like he might be, even be behind on some points here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is um, the first round you got to imagine went to Mahmoud. Abdullah really needs to come in and uh, uh, win this third round. That This second round was really a toss-up. Mahmoud, Mahmoud uh, really did kind of control, and I think he did land the, the more effective strikes uh, from that high mount position that he had for a few for a few moments there. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, that, that was a that was a tough one to. Uh, that might have been the, that might have been the deciding factor. The him and finishing the round on top is definitely something that the judges are going to be looking at. Um, so it looked like uh, Avada was able to kind of maintain that top control for a little while, but then uh, when, he, when Mahmoud got that sweep. And ended up on top right before the round, and it could be the deciding factor of who won that round. Yeah, I believe that was uh, Abada on top as the round ended. Oh, Abada was on top. Okay, so we'll see what the judges uh, decide on this, but until then, here we are going into the third and final round. In a very, yeah, a very close fight. Very, very close fight. It has been very competitive. Yeah, the two excellent gyms here with uh, KHK versus uh, Rosa Mixed Martial Arts Center. We'll see how this round goes. I would have to imagine that Abada feels a little bit desperate to come out here and uh, finish this fight or, 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 or really, really dominate this fight. Coming in with his hands down into the third. Doesn't seem to be too pressured to come in and score. Yeah, both fighters are still looking fairly fresh. Doesn't look like, um, you know, conditioning is too much of an issue right now. Okay, Abada seems to be now the one who's kind of taking control with some of the striking. Uh, throwing that, that, that jab doesn't seem to be, uh, be too panicky here. He's right, no one wants to commit. Efficient. No one wants to commit to anything. Seems right here in the first part of this third round. Nice, nice uh, chopping kick here from Mahmoud. Really, gotta again. You gotta imagine Abdullah is behind, and you know if you're in his corner, you want to see some volume and some aggression from him. Yep. I, I, I would, I would definitely expect to see a little bit more action from Abada to come out and uh, really deliver some sort of, some sort of points here, some sort of uh, combination here to be able to finish this, this, uh, this fight. Nice leg kick from Mahmoud. Mahmoud has been chopping down at that lead leg the last couple of rounds. So let's see what happens here. We've seen a lot of. Uh, like I said, a lot of, oh, there's a nice chopping kick down from Abada. There you go. Let's see if he secures this takedown. He gets it. And right in the side mount. Looks like he's got the knee in. It's it's not a full side mount. Yeah, well, Abada needs to push that knee off and really put his weight on top of uh, Mahmoud's body in order to secure that side control. Definitely, definitely doesn't want to end up in the guard while Mahmoud has his uh, head like that. So what Mahmoud needs to do here is take, let go of that head immediately and try to shrimp out and stand this fight back up. Definitely not end up in the bottom, especially in such a close fight. Right. Yeah, you know, getting back to a neutral position on the feed would definitely work for Mahmoud's advantage here. Uh, we'll see what he does if he chooses to go to full guard. The time is running out here for Abada. Uh, we need to see something coming in from Abada here to really kind of seal this this fight in uh, before uh, this fight goes on to decision. I would hate to go to the scorecard for this one. What ref warning, uh, some strikes to the back of the neck there. That is illegal in all areas of competition. Not a legal strike. No, definitely not, and definitely uh, want to avoid any, any strikes to the, to, the, to the spine as well. All right, so it looks like the ref is standing these fighters up. I believe that was the end of the round. And that was it. Very difficult okay. to hear the uh, uh, horn in this uh, event. Yeah, well, it'd be interesting to see what the fighters have. It, uh, I, it, this is such a close fight. Very, very close fight. Um, takedowns by both fighters. Well, 
Wow. Abada takes the wow, win. Wow, Abada. They give it to Abada. Wow, what a what very a, close fight. Very e close fight. Yeah. Even one judge having it as a tie at 28-28. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would definitely imagine that this fight would have gone to uh, uh, a draw or maybe 